Oconite COX is the most recognized welded and continuously corrugated metal clad wiring system on the market. As an economical alternate to a wire in conduit system, the CLX sheath provides an impervious barrier against moisture, liquids, gases, and any outside contaminants. The CLX aluminum sheath is mechanically strong, easy to handle and install, economical and chemical and flame resistant. CLX cables have a wide range of applications, instrumentation, control, low voltage and medium voltage CLX type cables are used across the globe in industries such as chemical, petrochemical, pulp and paper, pharmaceutical and generation. CLX is recognized by the National Electrical Code as metal clad cable. In addition, the aluminum CLX sheath exceeds the equipment grounding requirements of the National Electrical Code and can be used as the equipment grounding conductor when the code allows. This is especially valuable when paralleling circuits. CLX is also recognized by industry bodies such as Underwriters Laboratories, American Petroleum Institute, and by the American Bureau of Shipping. CLX cables are designed specifically for use as feeders or branch circuits in industrial and utility power distribution systems. They may be installed in both exposed and concealed work, wet and dry locations, directly buried in the earth, or embedded in concrete. CLX cables may also be installed on metal racks, troughs, in cable trays, or secured to supports not greater than six feet apart. Lastly, CLX type MCHL cables are also approved for use in classes one, two, and three, division one and two, and class one, zones one and two hazardous locations. In summary, CLX offers engineers and specifiers a cable system with built-in environmental and mechanical protection for all types of electrical circuits, whether used for instrumentation, control, signal or power distribution. With millions of feet installed throughout the world in every type of climate, CLX has established a proven record of reliable performance. The following demonstration video is how to properly prepare a CLX armored cable for installation. As always, please follow your company's policy of proper PPE use. Measure the amount of cable jacket to be removed per the installation and cable gland manufacturer's recommendations, and using a permanent marker, place a mark to identify the location. Using the splicing knife, make a ring cut circumferentially around the jacket at the mark identified. From this ring cut, make a longitudinal knife cut parallel to the cable to the cut end of the cable. Using pliers, lift the cut end of the jacket from the sheath in order to separate it along the knife cut and remove it from the CLX armor. Take care not to rip the jacket at the ring cut, as doing so may affect the environmental seal the gland and jacket provide. Measure how much armor the termination kit needs to be exposed and place an identifying mark on the CLX armor to identify this location. Mark a circumferential ring around the CLX armor, making sure it crosses over the crown and into the valley as you move around the CLX armor. This mark will act as a guideline when cutting the sheath. Using a piece of tape or constant force spring can assist this process if they are available. On large CLX, a hacksaw will be used to cut the CLX armor. When using the hacksaw, start the blade at a slight angle to the CLX sheath when following the guideline made earlier. The crown of the CLX will be fully cut through while the valley should only be scored to prevent damage to the underlying cable core. When scoring, only enough material from the sheath needs to be removed to make snapping the CLX armor easy. Once this cut has been made, you are ready to snap the sheath. Grasping the cut end of the cable with one hand and behind the ring cut with the other, firmly flex the cable down and then up to crack the sheath open. Note the separated sheath and that the core binder tape is still intact with no damage. On larger CLX conductor sizes, mark two separate lines approximately two to three inches apart with a permanent marker parallel to the cable on the aluminum CLX sheath. These guidelines will be used with the electric or pneumatic saw. The saw blade depth should be set just as we did with the hacksaw, 
The crown of the CLX will be fully cut through while the valley should only be scored. The correct depth can be set from a trial piece of the same cable that you are terminating. Once the two cuts have been made, lift the cut end of the cut CLX armor strip, separating it from the overall sheath. Spread the ends of the CLX sheath slightly to ease removal. Slide the CLX armor off the cable. With the CLX removed, the exposed core can be prepared by removing the exposed binder tape and fillers. Remember, when cutting the binder tape or fillers, always cut away from the cable core. Now the cable is ready for termination. The appropriate manufacturer's gland or termination kit can now be followed. On small CLX sizes, a standard pipe cutter can be used. Make sure to follow the mark you made earlier. Using one hand as a guide, rotate the pipe cutter back and forth until it cuts through the crown of the CLX armor and scores the valley. On small CLX, it is not necessary to cut all the way through the armor. Once the armor is scored, the cable can be flexed to separate the armor at the score line and remove it. The Yokonite Company appreciates your attention on this topic. If any further information is needed, please visit us at our website, www.okanite.com, or reach out to an Okanite sales office nearest you.